More migrant workers sought to bar themselves from Singapore pools, online betting and jackpot machine rooms in 2023 after the National Council on Problem Gambling and CPG made it easier for them to do so online. Over double the number of people banned themselves from such gambling activities in 2023 compared with the year before. The self-exclusion allows people to voluntarily ban themselves from opening or maintaining a Singapore Pools account, as well as entering or remaining in all jackpot machine rooms in private clubs. For Singapore Pools online betting, some 19,038 self-exclusions were made in 2023, more than 118% higher than the 8. 731 in 2022. The statistics, which were published in April by the NCPG, also show 23,072 self-exclusions were made in total on jackpot machine rooms in 2023 an over 134% jump from 2022 when there were 9. 821. Responding to queries from the Straits Times, NCPG spokesman Mr. Sim Jim Guan said the spike is a positive development and attributed it to the Council's efforts to digitalize and its work with parties such as employers and dormitory operators. For instance, he pointed out that NPCG's web chat function is now featured prominently on its revamped website, leading to an increase in people who sought help in 2023. Users could seek help through text-based communication that can be accessed conveniently from anywhere. This mode is used by those who prefer texting instead of verbal communication, he added. The report showed a year on-year increase in the number of people seeking help with NCPG's helpline and web chat. The number of calls to the NCPG helpline or web chat increased from 10,388 in 2022 to 12,462 in 2023. The helpline and web chat provides information on counseling and safeguards such as self-exclusion orders. Its increased use indicates growing willingness among individuals to address gambling issues, said Mr. Sim. Mr. Sim also said the council worked with the Migrant Workers Centre MWC. Companies employing migrant workers and dormitory operators to educate migrant workers about problem gambling and encourage them to apply for self-exclusion. MWC's Executive Director Michael Lim said migrant workers are particularly vulnerable to problem gambling as they often face language barriers, isolation, and are unfamiliar with local laws and customs. He added that the centre has been helping migrant workers apply for casino self-exclusion programs since 2011. MWC wants to help them avoid being lured into situations of financial instability and related crimes. He said, Problem gambling not only impacts financial health but also takes a toll on their physical and mental well-being. With their employees' consent, employers of migrant workers can also apply for the self-exclusion from gambling activities for them through NCPG's website. Migrant workers can also opt out of the self-exclusion program. That said, while numbers of applications for self-exclusion orders have gone up, the number of people receiving counselling for gambling has dropped. Mr. Sim added, There was an almost 40% decrease in the number of people seeking counselling for gambling with the Institute of Mental Health's National Addictions Management Service and the NCPG's appointed agencies in 2023 than in 2022. The figures exclude other community agencies that offer gambling addiction recovery support.